So before you guys attack me, okay, calm down, calm down. We're gonna get into it, don't worry. But first, let me just shout out my girl. We are wearing, uh-huh, hottest in the room, aka hitter. Cause we big hitters up in here, okay? That's the I done it. <laughs> first and foremost, thank you for being here. Thank you for taking the time to click on my video. I missed you, I've missed you so much. And it may not feel like it, but just know that I feel terrible for leaving you for so long. But I'm back and I'm better and I want you as bad as ever. <laughs> I guess you're wondering where I am. Different location, different location. Life is, life is, life is different. Life is new right now. Definitely so much to update you guys on, but don't worry, I'm not gonna jumble it all in one video, breaking it up. Just know that it's eventually you'll be all caught up. Yeah, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna run it back in time. Let's say flash it back to January. Past me is going to explain what we're doing here. In the meantime, you know, get your glass of wine, get your ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> it is eight days into the new year of 2023 that is so wild 2022 gone by fast like towards the end of the year when things started to slow down i literally just was feeling so down and negative also seasonal depression duh but like i really felt like i wasn't doing enough but when i look back i did a lot last year but it's just like it went by so fast that i felt like i wasn't doing enough if that makes sense <laughs> anywho can you let me know right now please Bonita, 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 Bonita. Oh my god, where do we even start? Come home. <laughs> Last time you see me on this camera, I was in New York. Your girl graduated. Bonita. <laughs> Last time you see me, I was doing my first degree, which was an associates in, what was it? Associates in business management. And then last year I graduated with my bachelor's in marketing communications. So we are two degrees hotter. <laughs> I've been back home since like August of 2022 of 2021 so i've been home for over a year now i'm like trying to do the math in my head while i'm talking out loud i can't do things at the same time and like this hat on this hat is like squeezing my head so much but like i needed to stay on because my wig is not late right now Ooh, chat, but this is one of the cons of having a big head like hats don't typically fit your head anywho what are we talking about? Like, how long have I been home? It's been a little over a year. The transition into this new year, something was happening to my spirits, which is why I had a breakdown. Like, two years be- What am I saying? Okay. September, spring, show, um, spring, summer. Two, three weeks before the year ended, like literally the week before Christmas, I had a terrible mental breakdown. I was crying to the point of having like a migraine. Lots of just like negativity and I'm not gonna lie, like I had a moment where I felt I'm in this place in my life where I don't actually act out on those thoughts. Like I just have those thoughts in passing. However, this time around, it felt pretty strong and that mental breakdown was just like, I felt like I was on the edge. And I literally had to coach myself and hold myself like, you know, your life matters. I was telling that to myself just repeatedly until I felt better. All that to say, granted last year was a lot, I feel like I'm in a better space now, transitioning into this new year, I have new intentions, I'm just doing things at my pace. I'm not trying to rush into my resolutions, everything, I've done my vision board, I'm just going to plan and be, plan and be for the first three months, because it's still winter time, it's still cold, okay? I will bloom with the flowers in the springtime. But right now, we've been chilling, we're taking it in, we are accepting and embracing the greatness, yeah. we are embracing our, our, um, what's the word, oh my god, our potential, thank you. Jesus Christ, With this transition, I also want to pick back up YouTube. I was initially going to wait until, like, I get a car and get an apartment and whatnot to start <laughs> vlogging. Alexa, do not disrespect, no, sorry. 
I won't disturb you. Thank you, Alexa. Me and Alexa are like this. That's my homegirl. Oh yeah, and sidebar, I do talk to my Alexa. I talk to her like she's a human being because I very much believe that robots may take over one day. And whenever, if ever that happens, I will be safe because I take care of my belongings. I talk to Alexa kindly and she fucks with me. Thank you. But yeah, I want to take YouTube a little more serious. I'm home now and I was going to wait until I guess things got together, but Lord knows when that's going to happen. So I might as well take this, you know, start this back up now and show y'all what I've been doing and, you know, where I've been going. Can I just say that, like, I'm actually so happy that I didn't wait until my life looked aesthetically pleasing to pick up my damn camera. I'm happy that on this day I actually picked up my camera and was like, you know what? We're gonna say fuck it and just get back into vlogging. And so much has happened since then. I've recorded so much and I honestly can't wait to show it to you guys. Like, appreciate the people that I've met, the places that I've been, the experiences that I've had. Like, it's just been lots of love, lots of support, and oh my god. Right now, I just wanted to turn my camera on and be in the moment because I miss you guys. I appreciate that my friends, especially Alex. I love you so, so much, and happy birthday again. <laughs> I love you, because you're always asking me, girl, when the fuck you gonna post another video? And I'm just like, um, you know, I don't know. Making all types of excuses. I'm really, I should've been honest with myself and said that I just feel burned out, and I lost a spark. I lost a spark somewhere in it, because I was just focused on other things. Other things had my attention. So, the spark is back. I really want to see where this takes me, because honestly, why not just take it better myself? You know, let's not wait for someone to validate you. Let's not be moved by other people's opinions, you know? Like, just do that shit. Bet on yourself and trust that you can do it. So that's the energy moving into this year. But yeah, anyhow, we're painting right now. I'm making a sketch. So it's supposed to say, for the love of art. I'm trying to see how else I can beautify these small, small. Maybe I can add a rose somewhere. Ooh, maybe I could add a rose. Cause yeah, I'll add a rose. Good art. Yeah, I'm gonna add a smart so the first time i heard the song braid my hair by mario was actually his verses i'm embarrassed Really. I'm not ashamed or am I embarrassed, okay? That's my story. I'm sorry, this is definitely is something I'm in here. My lip gloss. Ugh. Anywho. My nigga is a killer. Relax, I got seven figures. my nails I want this forever ever they will be done tomorrow we ain't worried though we ain't worried about anything outside of our goals our relationships our bodies our self-care okay any negativity, any bad energy. We ain't worried though. Any type of distraction. Thunder fire them, cast them, bind them. Okay? We ain't worried. To the left, to the left. Mm, 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 mm. That's the way I'm moving this year. Tell me what I should be worried about. I'm not worried about a damn thing because God got me. That is how I'm feeling. Watch me have a mental breakdown in like two weeks anyway. God, I'm not, I don't even want to claim that. I don't want to have a mental breakdown this month. I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't want to have any breakdown. I want to be in the chill modes. Update, I have not had any mental breakdowns since then. We thank God. <laughs> When it comes to like, you know, when people ask, what's your religion? My typical answer now, I feel like is like, oh, I'm spiritual. But like, honestly, truly, I was raised as a Christian. I want to be more trusting in God's plan for me. I feel like I do that. It's just these past few years have just been a real and raw, like, unraveling of myself. I'm literally turning into a butterfly. And I feel like, you know, ooh, I was melting real bad. It's been really real very raw <laughs> but i appreciate every moment of it i'll be referencing this stuff occasionally in my instagram like in my captions when i give the long caption
reactions and just you know I've learned so much about myself I feel like I've gotten more out of my show and I'm becoming more me so with that being said it's like you know everyone else is doing their thing I'm still figuring myself out and I'm taking my time to explore, and honestly, I'm still young, so I, I'm, I'm still at an age where I can make mistakes, so I can take more risks, and um, really, you know, put myself out there. And learning to not doing out of fear, because I want to learn to just, you know, again, let go, like, let God, trust the process. I have such, like, bad imposter syndrome, so it's, like, hard for me to even see it myself. I feel like I should be doing so much more. I know I could be doing so much more. I've been working on fumes for years. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm tired of working on fumes. I've been learning to like try to balance myself, my mental health, and making the most of the opportunities that do come my way. Like it's just more confirmation that I'm do I'm on the right path, you know. Piggybacking off of that very beautiful, beautiful moment right there. Again, like this journey, ever so grateful and just more confirmation that God really just be doing the damn thing. And the way he's shown up for me in ways that I cannot even like put into words right now. I'm still in awe and I'm still, you know, he's still walking with me, watching over me and helping me to grow that confidence in him that he's always going to be there. Because one thing about me, I'm like not the best with adjusting to change. But the thing about life is like changes are always going to happen and you're going to have to like learn how to pivot and stuff. I know God is real and he has shown up for me again in ways that continue to surprise me. Honestly, truly, thanking God for the journey. I cannot wait to see where this takes me because I know for so long this is something I've been wanting to do. I have just not been taking it serious and I have my reasons for it, but we're not going to talk about excuses, okay? We're just going to fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just get back into my music session. I was enjoying it. Oh, 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 oh. Now, if you ever want to take me up to karaoke, if you want, you can give me your Just friends, music so child. I'll probably be in my peeps. If it's cool, you maybe we'll swing by. Music so child in general. That is my man. His voice is everything. I love his music. So beautiful, half crazy. You ain't even. You ain't even. You ain't even gotta be my. But just friends specifically, that song gets me high. <laughs> That's my fucking song. <laughs> Can you believe me? I really want you, baby. Good night. <laughs>